ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology great to have you back and i'm very happy to start this playlist again spirituality for teenagers now if you're not a teenager maybe still this is valid for you okay because today's video is on how to be a yogi inside the corporate sector my god corporate corporate and corporate so many IT employees watching my videos, so many business entrepreneurs watching my videos and so many of them messaging me that I'm not working, I'm seeing your videos in office. <laughs> I will not take responsibility if you are fired or <laughs> if your performance goes down, okay, don't tell me that because of you it's happening. <laughs> Watch my videos in the evening when you will waste your time watching things like TV or reading magazine or discussing about unnecessary things or gossiping. But do not watch my videos when you are working in the office. Okay, that's not allowed. <laughs> you can still watch. <laughs> okay, so if you have not watched these, this playlist, the videos in this, then you can watch it. I have made a video on how to be a yogi in a city. Then I also made a video on how to be a yogi inside Taj Hotel Mumbai and today's video is on how to be a yogi inside the corporate sector, right? There you go. If you're new to the channel and if you have still not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. Otherwise, you will miss how to become a yogi inside the city. And if you want a consultation, then please go to my website. You'll find the link to my website in the description section of my videos all the videos down below okay and if you like this video click the thumbs up and watch the other videos in this playlist and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will still be there <laughs> to save you from the corporate sector now there was a joke once that when lord krishna spoke the gita he said Pandava Nam Dhananjaya. <laughs> Among Pandavas, I am Arjun. Yes, he didn't say I am Bhim. He didn't say I am Nakul. He didn't say I am Sadev. He didn't even say I am Yudhishthir Maharaj. Acharyas explained that when Arjuna heard this, he was shocked. He was totally shocked. Because he was expecting, Krishna will say, Among the Pandavas, I am Yudhishthir. <laughs> But Krishna doesn't say so. He says Pandava Anam Dhananjaya. That means among the Pandavas, I am Arjun. Dhananjaya is the other name of Arjun. So there was this joke once that suppose Krishna would be speaking uh, the Gita <laughs> in Kali Yuga. Then he would say among controversies and conspiracies, I am the corporate sector. <laughs> So many controversies, so much conspiracy, my God. So many gossips, unnecessary. How to be a yogi inside the corporate sector? So yes, 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 I have also, I was also fortunate. <laughs> fortunate or unfortunate. <laughs> Either ways you want to call it. Once upon a time, when I was working in corporate, before starting my master's, it was... September 25th, 2014, I joined my company, iGate. It was in Bangalore. Whitefield was the name of the place, as many of you might be working there. And then three months I worked there for training. I was getting training in .NET, Microsoft .NET. And then I went to Chennai for two months. January, February, and then March, I... February end, I left my company and by the time I had left, it had become Cape Gemini. Cape Gemini had eaten the company. <laughs> so it was not I get anymore. So I was also staying in the corporate scenario for five months, although I was not engaged in any project because the two months which I was there in Chennai, January, February 2015, I was on bench, which means there were no projects and we were not working. We were just sitting idle. So, but I am very well aware of the things which happen there in corporate scenarios. So, there were so many things which happened during those two months. Not much during the training time, October, November, December, because everybody was busy. But 
during the time when i was in chennai two months january february many things happened krishna had tested so many people including myself so what happened was we had decided to go to tirumala hills tirupati is very near to chennai very near means of course not very near but it's near so then we decided me and some of my very close friends from gujarat yes we decided that we will visit the holy land of tirumala once again i had visited it once in 2011 and in 2013 i guess oh sorry 2012 mid 2012 end i visited okay yes i get it right and i visited i plan to visit it again with my friends my corporate friends you know but then uh, the world cup was going on that time yes or there was some a uh, big uh, match or some something was going on that time very important it was 2015 beginning i don't remember it was cricket or football or something or some cricket very big tournament was going on i don't remember exactly something it was whatever how does it matter anyways so we decided that we will go during this time but suddenly what happened one of my friends from gujarat there was some problem in a particular match so that match was preponed or postponed or india won it or there was something like that on the day of that match or it was one or two days before they declared that india will have this match okay it was a conflict of interest basically so now cricket or tirupati <laughs> classic that was so everybody was like oh maybe we can visit tirupati some other time because the match will not come again tirupati to we can visit any time but the match will be now only right it's logical right well all logics fail when it comes to god he should be the first priority but my friends unfortunately because of their th- this is known as gramya buddhi in scriptures gramya buddhi means materialistic poor funded intelligence they could not see that which is higher and they decided that we will not go to tirumala hills okay but 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 there were two three people they were from gujarat and they said no man i said i will go i will go do hell with cricket i will not go then i said wow so then three of my gujarati friends yes all three were from gujarat they accompanied me and there was one guy from north india i guess delhi or noida that side yes so three gujaratis one north indian and myself five of us we went to tirupati and we had a great time there we had an amazing time but the moment we reached back to the office the entire community the entire office started mocking all five of us <laughs> look 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 this these five uh, they are planning to become sadhus you know they are planning to become saints they are planning to become renunciates because they have gone to tirupati and what did we do in chennai there is a big mall sky walk yes they walk in the skies till they fall in the ground there's another big mall it's known as express avenue now now to god knows how many other malls have come up in chennai but those days these two malls were very big 3 4 years back and there was another city called mahindra city where they used to go and have parties fun enjoyment all these things they used to do so then i asked these people who are mocking us then i said that okay you didn't go to tirupati what did you do oh we went to sky walk we we, we did this we did that we went to express avenue we had a good lunch we had a good dinner we enjoyed basically and what did you do ha huh. and then i said you enjoyed we also enjoyed who said we didn't enjoy 
but they have intrinsically assumed that if you go to holy places you cannot enjoy i said we did not enjoy the way you have enjoyed yes catching the neck of other girls and almost kissing them <laughs> the men are also degraded the women are also degraded the men are catching them and the women are also yeah catch us no there's a uh, saying it's like the blind leading the blind to the ditch it's like you are blind and there's a blind man who comes and tells you i will take you across the street and there's a ditch imagine <laughs> that's how the materialistic societies so then what happened is so they told us that see first you should enjoy all these things you can do later yes all spiritual stuff and all this you can do later i said how do you define later and they said later means once you are established after that you should do spiritual practices not now i said that's what i'm asking you how do you define establishment and then they said don't argue once you are established you can do spirituality don't argue don't keep arguing like this i said that is what i'm asking you which is the point in life okay there's no barrier of age you can be established at 30 40 50 60 70 whatever but you tell me when is the point of establishment because in this material world the moment you get something you will always be tempted by your colleagues and the materialistic society around you to go to the next level you are a consultant then you are promoted to senior consultant then maybe you become project manager or i don't know whatever it is and then you become maybe one day vice president then you become president then chairman then ceo or whatever it is so there will never be a time that's on your professional side there on your personal side you get married suppose you are a man so many of my friends i know they have now their girlfriends what they do is they will dictate each and every limb and every aspect of what they do i mean my male friends i am talking like there was one of my f- uh, very good friends he was from bihar so uh, he used to tell that i will do what i want i will not listen to anybody i will not listen to what geeta says bhagavatam says but now he is very faithfully loyally like a obedient servant very faithful servant he's the he's the best servant you will see of whom you know of his wife yes he's from bihar and he has married a girl from uh, telangana or andhra pradesh okay telugu girl he has married she is very beautiful very attractive very charming he is also very sweet and charming and there's another of my friend he is from assam and he has married a girl from bihar so the predicament of this friend of mine who has married this girl from bihar any anyways there's nothing to do with telugu people or bihar or assamis okay there's nothing i'm just giving examples the predicament of this of this friend is that he wanted to do mba but then his girlfriend said you can't do mba because i don't like mba people nor do i want that you go away from me and then he said but darling i want to do mba and then she said if you do mba i will leave you she threatened him that maybe uh, i will go to london to do masters tera kya hoga kaliya <laughs> do you remember the dialogue from shole movie tera kya hoga kaliya this is what she told and the moment he heard this oh my god you will go to london i cannot stay without you stop you don't want me to do mba i will loyally faithfully for the rest of your life sit and serve you here i will never do mba i promise you and this another friend i know he wanted to purchase a car but of course now he he has his wife so what happened was they were having some kind of a quarrel okay and then the boy denied some request which the wife had 
I mean, the wife wanted something. So he said, no, I will not let you do that, nor I will not let it happen. Or I will not let you purchase that. So then the girl said, if that is your decision, I will also not let you take a car. Because men are generally like, they like cars, you know, they want that big posh car. <laughs> so she said, you don't let me take this, I won't let you take the car. So there you see, helplessness. They are scratching each other's back. You give me this, I give you that. And they call this love. My God, it's LOL actually. <laughs> So even on your per, in your personal life, either you are a man or a woman, if your partner is not having any spiritual quotient, okay, there is no spiritual inquisitiveness, there is no spiritual practice, that person will not let you be in peace. Should I repeat? That person will not let you be in peace. You get a 2 BHK today, tomorrow she will say, Ramesh has got 3 BHK, why did you buy 2 BHK? Suresh has got a villa. Why have you got a 2 BHK? Dinesh has purchased a penthouse. You should also purchase. Yes. Or if he's a man, then he may say, look, she's looking like this. What happened to you? Yes. Men and women both have their rants. <laughs> so when you marry somebody who has zero spiritual quotient, they may have some religious tendencies. They are doing something, going to temple sometimes. They are chanting some mantras, but they are just doing it time pass. They have no spiritual. They are not doing it out of heart. Just like official formality, they are doing it. So when you end up marrying people like this, even on your personal life, they will never let you be at peace. So there is no point where you can say that in your professional or in your personal life, you will be established. Oh yes, what about kids? When you are materially, uh, when you are spiritually not inquisitive, you don't have a spiritual uh, acumen or you don't have spiritual practices in your day, then you attract a spouse who is like that, man or a woman. Okay. Then both of you will degrade together. Then you, the children who is born from you, they will also not have any spiritual inquisitiveness. They will also run behind women or men when they are young they will also run behind cigarettes smoke smoking alcohol eating meat watching pornography doing all this nonsense that's what is happening in the society today so even if your husband or your wife lets you be at peace your kids will not let you be at peace all right so i asked uh, this person was arguing with me that I said, when is the time that you tell that you are established in this material world? And then he was like, no answer. <laughs> because today you will buy a car, tomorrow you have to buy a flat, then you have to pay EMI for 20 years, right? My friends have purchased homes in cities like Mumbai, Bangalore, yes? And they are paying EMI, for, they are going to pay EMI for the rest of 20, 25 years. And then from Maruti will upgrade to Mercedes. Otherwise your girlfriend will not spare you. Sorry, I mean your wife will not spare you, see. Because she will see somebody else has taken Mercedes. And my husband is going on a Maruti, you know. She will not tolerate it. She will say, oh, see, uh, she's uh, going in Mercedes. I also want Mercedes. If you don't give Mercedes, I will buy from my own salary. <laughs> That's how the situation is these days. Then you will uh, buy a bigger house. Yes, people buy bigger house in 40s. Penthouse, yes. 4 BHK, 5 BHK. In posh areas you will buy. Where you have to spend 10 times more the money. Yes. And you will spend money there. And then you will go to London on vacations because you have to put photos on your Instagram. Nobody will like your photo if you go to Haridwar. Only if you go to Paris and you get the Eiffel Tower in your background with the selfie, only then you will get likes, right? So just for getting likes, you will go to London or Paris 
or you can come to Berlin sometimes. <laughs> yes. And then maybe one day you end up buying your private jet or a yacht or anything like this. And then your son and your daughter, they will say, we want to go to Germany for masters. <laughs> of course, Germany is giving free education now. God knows till when they give it. Or we need to go to US. So we need 40 lakhs, 50 lakhs. Okay. So who is the one who will end up paying the money for them? It is you. Especially if you're a man, this is very relevant for you. So if not now, then never. Spirituality is like that. Abhi nahi to kabhi nahi. Beta sun le. Abhi nahi to kabhi nahi. And it doesn't matter. You are 18 or you are 25 or you are 35. If you are married or you are single or you are in a relationship, it doesn't matter. You can start wherever you are. Better late than never. Okay. So basically that's what I was telling to this person in the corporate scenario that neither you will ever be able to say that I am established in my professional life nor you will be able to say that I am established in my personal life. Because if your wife and your kids are materialistic, they will be hell bent on making your life hell for material comforts. Trust me, go and see anybody. No examples needed here. Okay. So the point is, those people in your office, they will tell you, oh, no, no, it's not now, you know, spirituality is later. It's like, it's not now, it's later. Okay. So do not pay heed to them because they are wasting their lives and they are hell bent on making you also waste your lives. So let them speak. Put it from this side, throw it out from this side. Don't sit and dwell. Oh, what you are saying, you know, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, we can do all this later also. No, you get married. You stay, you buy a house. There's no problem. But do your spiritual practices every day diligently in the morning or in the afternoon or during the day. Visit spiritual communities during weekends in your city or in your town or in your village or in your state or in your country. Yes, that will sustain you spiritually and then read scriptures like the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, the Srimad Bhagavatam, Ramayana, Mahabharata, you read shlokas, you sing bhajans, read the holy books, associate with divine personalities who know the truth of the scriptures, alright, when you do that, then you will have the sufficient strength to cope up with the poison which is there in the corporate sector. Otherwise, you will be vanished completely. After 30 years, you will retire. The company will throw you out. There is a lot of effect. I am using these words. There was a person who was uh, who is in his 60s had booked a reading with me recently. And that person was telling, because now my company people know that I am going to retire, although I am in a very senior post, so they, do, they don't include me in any of their project presentations or any of their meetings. That's what materialistic society is, right? It's like a dog business. Dog business means, oh, this dog will be good for us, so take him. This dog is bad for us, throw her out. That's what is materialistic society. It's like a dog business. So they will only select those dogs who will give them money. Yes. So if you do not belong to that category, then they will throw you out. <laughs> so if you give your blood, sweat and toil for 30, 40 years to one company and then this is what you get in return at the end. You will make some money definitely. There is no problem with that. <laughs> but at the end, uh, you will ask this question to yourself. Tera kya hoga kalia? <laughs> what have you done if you have not done any spiritual practices? At the end of your life, you will be left with regrets and only and only regrets. Because you will have nobody, you see. Your sons and your daughters, they will leave abroad to do masters, to do MBA, to do finance, to do commerce. Yes, they will settle. And once they get married, they will not even ask about you. Yes, have you seen 
द नंबर ऑफ ओल्ड एज होम्स इंक्रीजिंग दीज डेज यस people are least interested to take care of their parents of course when they are able to take care of themselves they are taking care but once they are not able to then we should be taking care of them but that's not happening so who will take care of you what will you do after you retire sir or madam <laughs> your situation will be precarious that time just look at your father or your mother or your uncle or your aunt who has retired they're simply sitting in home watching tv and indulging in the useless rubbish garbage of this world doing nothing yes most of the people retiring i mean most of the retired people they are just simply wasting time like this the only reason they are happy sometimes is oh somebody is getting married you know then what happens we go and attend a wedding there you see okay so i'll not speak much it's been very long so this is how you protect yourself and then you can still remain a yogi inside the corporate sector before you go hammer your mind with mantras and with the knowledge of the scriptures then they will say something you will be like get out throw him out don't throw him out <laughs> you will throw him his words out of your mind otherwise when degraded people they will speak in your ears they will degrade your consciousness also as in hindi they say hum to dube tujhe bhi le dubenge <laughs> we will sing we will take you also when you sing it's like putting a crown on the head of a drowning man you see dubti nahi ya okay so protect yourself before going to the office do your mant- mantras properly and read the scriptures minimum half an hour instead of reading the newspaper what you can do is oh where is my lighter uh you can take the newspaper and you can do it like this and you can throw it to the dustbin all magazines newspapers everything in the morning stop throw them out nothing doing only reading the scriptures okay and hearing lectures of spiritual personalities that you can do then you will be protected all right good luck if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is also interested to become a yogi inside the corporate okay and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding your career or your marriage or your health or anything else then you can go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to my website in the description section of this video and all my other videos okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will hopefully find him even inside the corporate okay bye bye see you